The Tesla Cybertruck was unveiled a couple of weeks ago. I was there. Uh, here's some evidence with me uh, just chilling next to it, uh, not breaking any windows. Uh, and since then, we've heard uh, from so many different people, their opinions from people who we wanted to hear from, from people who we definitely did not want to hear from, and everybody in between. But one person that we haven't heard from just yet, and I think a lot of people want to, is Sandy Monroe, the manufacturing guru. And he is going to be here in just a couple of minutes to talk about the Cybertruck. But this time, this is going to be very different from any interview that he's given me or maybe interviews that he's given anybody else because he is now a regular contributor to this channel in his own segment that we're calling the Teardown with Sandy Monroe. That's right, he's going to be here every month to talk about the topics. Well, whatever it is that he wants to talk about because it is his segment, it's great to have him. He's uh, joining some other contributors that we already had from uh, before, of course, Eli and Tom, they're weekly contributors, but we also got the uh, uh, British uh, electric car expert, uh, uh, Roger Atkins joining us, which I'm really excited about. The CEO of Fairday Future, uh, Carsten Breitfeld, uh, and uh, of course, Rich Rebuilds. I'm really excited about all these contributors uh, and we're going to feature them every week. But back to the teardown with Sandy Monroe, I can't wait to hear uh, his opinion on the Cybertruck uh, in the premiere of his segment here on e for electric Before that, of course, a quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byton. Check out their all-electric m bike coming to the US and Europe. Don't forget to reserve yours if you haven't already. Look how fast and easy it is to do so, mainly because there is no payment form. It is no, 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 no dollars, no rubles, no euros uh, money down. You can just go to the description of this video and reserve your bike and today that easy. All right, without further ado, let me welcome uh, Sandy to the show. Sandy, welcome to your very first segment here on E4Electric. Wow, thank you very much for uh, for inviting me. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, the first segment I wanted to dedicate a topic that's been pretty hot since uh, Tesla unveiled the very controversial uh, Cybertruck that's been grown on people. But most people talk about the design and the, you know the the motors and all of that stuff. But you know this is a completely different type of the vehicle. The way it's made and the way the battery technology has to perform because it is essentially still an off-road truck. Um, tell me a little bit more about what's your opinion so far on, you know, will how, how easy is it easier or harder to make this truck and will Tesla be able to profit on it just like they can with a Model 3 and S and X? Okay, so the first thing they need to do is work on those windows, <laughs> but uh, that's just a cheap shot. But anyway, true, true. Um, uh, but the uh, the truck itself, because it's all flat panels and whatnot, it's uh, I mean, it's 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 a much much easier product to manufacture than uh, than anything that's got lots of curves and whatnot on it. Uh, personally, um, I'm kind of a, a fan of of things that are like brand spanking new. And as you, I think I mentioned last time, I drive a, I drive a, a Jeep Rubicon. So uh, off-roading to me is a big deal. Uh, it's the only, um, it's the only recreation as it were that I've got. The only relaxing thing I do is run over plants and be probably nasty to nature. So this kind of a vehicle to me is uh, pretty, uh, pretty interesting. I'm very happy that, uh, that Tesla decided to put out something like this. Um, so construction wise, that is a very simple product to, to, uh, to manufacture. Uh, it strikes me, um, favorably because like I say, I'm an off-roader and secondly, um, I've never been, uh, enamored with, uh, with curvy, whatever. This is, uh, definitely, uh, what we would call a masculine vehicle, masculine all over. I mean, this is like uh you know uh, everything here is 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 geared toward uh, uh, a man kind of so um especially one that's uh, an outdoorsman and stuff like that so that was that's my first impression i i like it a lot did it uh did it grow on you just like with a lot of people like did you hate it at first and then loved it or no. you loved it from the very beginning First second I saw it. Love I at like first it. sight. I love it. All right. It's still growing on me, but I can definitely see how this is this is something 
This is, you know, oh. I, you know, I compared well, this. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of car do you drive? Do you go off road? Do you, uh, are you uh, out in the wilderness every once in a while? No, I don't go off road yeah. at all. I, I don't think I've ever, I don't want to get mud on my shoes, man. Come on. <laughs> so I got nice shoes. But it... <laughs> no, but uh, you know, but the thing okay, is. Great. Well, it's, it's probably going to take you a while. It's, it's going to take me, but I got to tell you. I reserve one right away. I reserve one within an hour of seeing it mm -hmm. because I think maybe I just don't understand the future, right? Like I'm, I can be humble that way. But all right, so let, but let, let's back to the you know the way this truck is like. Tell us a little bit like what is the difference because I think uh, people don't understand that this is exterior. It's it's essentially the exterior of this truck. What normally is just a skeleton of uh, of the car, and also t tell us. A little bit about you know these panels are bulletproof and this window is at some point going to be uh, um, unshatterable if that's a word. But um, th th there are challenges uh, on making that, isn't it? No, that's a relatively simple product to manufacture. When you've got fancy curves and um, you know uh, and other other like. Straight lines are uh, are um, are basically your friend. Um, they're not. Uh, it's not hard to make something that looks like uh, looks like that truck. It's not like trying to produce a curvy sedan or what have you. That's uh, relatively simple lines. Those are all. Um, those are all single. Well, single or double hits. Um, normally, we look at uh, no more than five hits per panel, and the stylists go crazy trying to get us to add more uh, more styling characteristics. So the, the the deal here is that that's a simple product to manufacture, um, making it so that it's bulletproof. There's lots of technology out there already for that sort of stuff. Um, I don't know if I needed bulletproof, but if I'm going camping, uh, I'd like to have it bear proof. That would be nice. Um, and uh, for those guys that have got, like you just showed that quick picture there of, um, guy with a bike in the back that um that's a very handy uh that's a handy a little uh, doodad that you've got there for that ramp i like that oh it's a quad sorry about oh, same thing it uh, it's a very handy thing to have that you can roll out and i can think of i can think of half a dozen people actually i've got two friends nick and dennis flynn uh they'll buy one of those that i guarantee it they'll they'll take one look at uh, being able to drive in and out with a quad and uh, and they'll have it. Well, so I understand it's easier to manufacture the panels, but I always thought that the, you know, anything that's bulletproof or really sturdy, it, it weighs a lot, right? And and this is an electric truck, so it, it really needs all the help it can get to be as light as possible so the range is uh, acceptable. Is there some truth to it or technology has caught up to it and, and now you can have a lightweight you know, bulletproof and tough materials and so forth. There's a lot of tough materials that are light. Um, as you know, I uh, Monroe doesn't just work on uh, cars. Uh, we work on um, a variety of things, and one of them is um, is is tanks and um, and uh, vehicles that, in essence, um, have to be battle hardened. Um, and when we worked with um, we worked with um, um, what do you call it? Um, what's their name? GD, then General Dynamics, and and uh, and quite frankly, we took a tremendous amount of weight out of that, out of the uh, the striker vehicle, um, in order to uh, in order to uh, basically strengthen it for one thing, and then also to give it longer range, even though that that thing basically runs on diesel, um, you still run out of diesel um, if you're if you're in um, in a combat kind of situation, so lightweight um, and um, and bulletproof uh, are not are not separate issues. They, you should be able to do that. All right, and so so you're telling me that this is actually not going to you know it's not a revolution in in uh, manufacturing of a truck. This is actually simplifying it for the sake of you know cutting costs, but at the same time making it look manly. Well. It's gonna it's gonna cost because the the materials that you're using are are not they're not just steel they're you're looking at a laminate right there's gonna be there's gonna be layers of materials that are gonna go in there so the outside it looks like uh, brushed stainless 
I doubt very, I haven't seen this thing for real and I haven't seen any specs on it, but it looks like brushed stainless. So they put that on the outside and then you, you start layering it inside. Kevlar is going to be one of those layers, I'm sure, if they're trying to make it bullet. It depends on the bullet, too. I can guarantee you that there's a thing called, um, it's called a dragon round from Russia. And I bet you it'll go run through one end and out the other. But And I don't think it'll take 50 cal either. But, uh, but I'm uh, Russian but, myself. We're really good at destroying things. Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Well, they, the, that's the that's the wicked bullet. That's what everybody tries to uh, be able to uh, uh, withstand. But um, at the end of the day, I'm sure that when they're talking about bulletproof, I'm pretty sure that they're looking at a 30 out six or something like that. Not uh, not a war weapon, not a real warrior's weapon. So, you know, let's talk about battery technology. This truck is going to be able to go over 500 miles. You know, it's not a small vehicle. And we know that Tesla just acquired Maxwell Technologies and there's a lot of hope there. Do you think they have to make maybe one more leap in terms of battery technology in order to make this work? Or do you think they're you know, ready to make this happen now? Um, I don't think anybody knows. I, um, I can tell you that we know for sure no one has got a solid state battery. That's, that's a fact. We've uh, talked to a couple of people who claim that they did and then when we looked for the proof, it wasn't there. Um, uh, that is the holy grail. If that comes in, that'll make a big, big difference in ICE. Uh, that'll make a giant difference. Right now, I don't see, uh, I mean, I think that there's gonna be an 80 million lump uh, associated with how many ICE vehicles are being manufactured around the world. Um, and I think that by 2040, we'll be looking at a uh, 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 plus up of about 30 mil million vehicles. And I think all of those plus ups will be electric. That's my my guess. Well, uh, um, so are you saying, but can they achieve this without the solid state battery? I mean, uh, technology, I mean, can they achieve yeah. with the lithium ion and the Maxwell technology? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, 200 miles is not that, or sorry, uh, 400 miles is not that big a deal. I think they're promising 500 miles, but I think it's still within reason for the lithium ion. Yeah. I mean, really and truly, all I got to do is double up. That's all. I mean, you're just layering this stuff on top of each other. I take a little longer to charge it, but I mean, I, this is not magic. Um, it's just, it's just all numbers. Everything's, everything's down to numbers. All right. Well, fair enough. And, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Would you would you be looking forward to tearing this uh, beast down once it becomes available, or that would actually, be... you know, I was going to ask you. Um, you said you got a very early uh, model, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, would you like to donate it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I might because I, you know, if I still don't get it by then, which I'm assuming is going to be three or four years. Uh, yeah, no, why, why don't? Yeah, totally. We we can do that. I. Uh, Good. I'm, yeah. So I'm gonna hold it to you. All right. Well, we have it on video too. So it's on video now. You're I know. Done, I know. Well, you know. Also, you know, my I'm sure a lot of people in my audience um, are also early reservation holders. So if you guys are one of the earlier ones, if you reserve in the next in the first one or two hours, uh, and uh, you're willing to. Uh, uh, donate one uh, the reservation that is uh, to uh, Sandy Monroe himself uh, definitely contact us but listen thank you so much for joining me um, I'm uh, looking forward to our segments in the future we're doing it once per month so until next time okay great thanks Alex all right well there you have it now you've heard from everybody on the topic of this cyber truck of course Sandy's opinion is very interesting by the way uh if you have some suggestions for the future topics for us to talk about put it down in the comment section of this video I'll definitely go over them and suggest uh, for Sandy to cover them but whatever it is it's definitely going to be very interesting and don't forget he actually his company produces the teardown reports that you can order at leandesign.com that link is also going to be in the description of this video so go ahead and order it there if you would like for yourself or your company and don't forget to follow me on instagram at e4electric that's where i post all kinds of behind the scenes pictures and videos and so forth so definitely follow me on there all right uh, looking forward to all of the comments and suggestions other than that see you guys next time and remember to stay charged